the Antarctic Treaty and related agreements, collectively known as the Antarctic Treaty System, regulate international relations with respect to Antarctica, Earth's only continent without a native human population. For the purposes of the treaty system, Antarctica is defined as all of the land and ice shelves south of 60 degrees S latitude. The treaty, entering into force in 1961 and currently having 50 parties, sets aside Antarctica as a scientific preserve, establishes freedom of scientific investigation and bans military activity on that continent. The treaty was the first arms control agreement established during the Cold War. The Antarctic Treaty Secretariat headquarters have been located in Buenos Aires, Argentina, since September 2004. The main treaty was opened for signature on December 1, 1959, and officially entered into force on June 23, 1961. The original signatories were the 12 countries active in Antarctica during the International Geophysical Year of 1957 Euro 58. The 12 countries had significant interests in Antarctica at the time, Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom and the United States. These countries had established over 50 Antarctic stations for the IGY. The treaty was a diplomatic expression of the operational and scientific cooperation that had been achieved on the ice. Articles of the Antarctic Treaty, Article 1 A Euro The area to be used for peaceful purposes only. Military activity, such as weapons testing, is prohibited but military personnel and equipment may be used for scientific research or any other peaceful purpose. Article 2 A Euro Freedom of scientific investigations and cooperation shall continue. Article 3 A Euro Free Exchange of Information and Personal and Cooperation with the United Nations and other international agencies. Article 4 A Euro The treaty does not recognize, dispute, nor establish territorial sovereignty claims. No new claims shall be asserted while the treaty is in force. Article 5 A Euro The treaty prohibits nuclear explosions or disposal of radioactive wastes. Article 6 A Euro includes under the treaty all land and ice shelves but not the surrounding waters south of 60 degrees 00 minutes south. Article 7 A Euro Treaty State observers have free access, including aerial observation, to any area and may inspect all stations, installations, and equipment. Advance notice of all activities and of the introduction of military personnel must be given. Article 8 A Euro allows for good jurisdiction over observers and scientists by their own states. Article 9 A Euro Frequent consultative meetings take place among member nations. Article 10 A Euro All treaty states will discourage activities by any country in Antarctica that are contrary to the treaty. Article 11 A Euro All disputes to be settled peacefully by the parties concerned or, ultimately, by the International Court of Justice. Articles 12, 13, 14 A Euro deal with upholding, interpreting, and amending the treaty among involved nations. The main objective of the ATS is to ensure in the interests of all humankind that Antarctica shall continue forever to be used exclusively for peaceful purposes and shall not become the scene or object of international discord. Pursuant to Article 1, the treaty forbids any measures of a military nature but not the presence of military personnel or equipment for the purposes of scientific research. Other Agreements Other Agreements A Euro Some 200 recommendations adopted at treaty consultative meetings and ratified by governments A Euro include, agreed measures for the conservation of Antarctic fauna and flora, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Seals, the Convention for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, the Convention on the Regulation of Antarctic Mineral Resource Activities, the Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty was signed October 4, 1991 and entered into force January 14, 1998. This agreement prevents development and provides for the protection of the Antarctic environment through five specific annexes on marine pollution, fauna and flora, environmental impact assessments, waste management, and protected areas. It prohibits all activities relating to mineral resources except scientific. 
a sixth annex a euro on liability arising from environmental emergencies a euro was adopted in 2005 but is yet to enter into force. Meetings, the Antarctic Treaty Systems Yearly Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meetings are the International Forum for the Administration and Management of the Region. Only 29 of the 50 parties to the agreements have the right to participate in decision-making of these meetings, though the other 21 are still allowed to attend. The decision-making participants are the consultative parties and, in addition to the 12 original signatories, include 17 countries that have demonstrated their interest in Antarctica by carrying out substantial scientific activity there. Parties, as of 2014, there are 50 states party to the treaty. 29 of which, including all 12 original signatories to the treaty, have consultative status. Consultative members include the seven nations that claim portions of Antarctica as national territory. The 43 non-claimant nations either do not recognize the claims of others, or have not stated their positions. Note, the table can be sorted alphabetically or chronologically using the icon. Claims overlap. Reserved the right to claim areas. Antarctic Treaty Secretariat The Antarctic Treaty Secretariat was established in Buenos Aires, Argentina in September 2004 by the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Jan Huber served as the first Executive Secretary for five years until August 31, 2009. He was succeeded on September 1, 2009 by Manfred Reink. The tasks of the Antarctic Treaty Secretariat can be divided into the following areas, supporting the annual Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting and the Meeting of the Committee for Environmental Protection. Facilitating the exchange of information between the parties required in the Treaty and the Environment Protocol. Collecting, storing, arranging and publishing the documents of the ATCM. Providing and disseminating public information about the Antarctic Treaty System and Antarctic activities. Legal system, Antarctica has no permanent population and therefore it has no citizenship nor government. All personnel present on Antarctica at any time are citizens or nationals of some sovereignty outside Antarctica, as there is no Antarctic sovereignty. The majority of Antarctica is claimed by one or more countries but most countries do not explicitly recognize those claims. The area on the mainland between 90 degrees west and 150 degrees west, combined with the interior of the Norwegian sector, is the only major land on Earth not claimed by any country. The treaty prohibits any nation from claiming this area. Governments that are party to the Antarctic Treaty and its Protocol on Environmental Protection implement the articles of these agreements, and decisions taken under them, through national laws. These laws generally apply only to their own citizens, wherever they are in Antarctica, and serve to enforce the consensus decisions of the consultative parties, about which activities are acceptable, which areas require permits to enter, what processes of environmental impact assessment must precede activities, and so on. The Antarctic Treaty is often considered to represent an example of the common heritage of mankind principle. Argentina, according to Argentine regulations, any crime committed within 50 kilometers of any Argentine base is to be judged in Ushuaia. In the part of Argentine Antarctica that is also claimed by Chile and UK, the person to be judged can ask to be transferred there. Australia since the designation of the Australian Antarctic Territory predated the signing of the Antarctic Treaty, Australian laws that relate to Antarctica date from more than two decades before the Antarctic Treaty era. In terms of criminal law, the laws that apply to the Jervis Bay Territory apply to the Australian Antarctic Territory. Key Australian legislation applying Antarctic Treaty system decisions include the Antarctic Treaty Act 1960 the Antarctic Treaty Act 1980 and the Antarctic Marine Living Resources Conservation Act 1981. United States, the law of the United States, including certain criminal offenses by or against U.S. nationals, such as murder, may apply to areas not under jurisdiction of other countries. To this end, the United States now stations special deputy U.S. marshals in Antarctica to provide a law enforcement presence. Some U.S. laws directly appellate to Antarctica. For example, the Antarctic Conservation Act, 
Public Law 95 to 541, 16 U.S.C. A.A. Millisecond 2401 A.Sec. provides civil and criminal penalties for the following activities, unless authorized by regulation or statute: the taking of native Antarctic mammals or birds, the introduction into Antarctica of non-indigenous plants and animals, entry into specially protected or scientific areas the discharge or disposal of pollutants into Antarctica or Antarctic waters, the importation into the U.S. of certain items from Antarctica, violation of the Antarctic Conservation Act carries penalties of up to $10,000 U.S. dollars in fines and one year in prison. The Departments of the Treasury, Commerce, Transportation, and the Interior share enforcement responsibilities. The Act requires expeditions from the U.S. to Antarctica to notify in advance, the Office of Oceans and Polar Affairs of the State Department, which reports such plans to other nations as required by the Antarctic Treaty. Further information is provided by the Office of Polar Programs of the National Science Foundation. New Zealand, in 2006, the New Zealand police reported that jurisdictional issues prevented them issuing warrants for potential American witnesses who were reluctant to testify during the Christchurch coroner's investigation into the death by poisoning of Australian astrophysicist Rodney Marks at the South Pole base in May 2000. Dr. Marks died while wintering over at the United States Amunds in a Euro Scott South Pole station located at the geographic South Pole. Prior to autopsy, the death was attributed to natural causes by the National Science Foundation and the contractor administering the base. However, an autopsy in New Zealand revealed that Dr. Marks died from methanol poisoning. The New Zealand police launched an investigation. In 2006, frustrated by lack of progress, the Christchurch coroner said that it was unlikely that Dr. Marks ingested the methanol knowingly although there is no certainty that he died as the direct result of the act of another person. During media interviews, the police detective in charge of the investigation criticized the National Science Foundation and contractor Raytheon for failing to cooperate with the investigation. South Africa South African law applies to all South African citizens in Antarctica, and they are subject to the jurisdiction of the Magistrates Court in Cape Town. In regard to violations of the Antarctic Treaty and related agreements, South Africa also asserts jurisdiction over South African residents and members of expeditions organized in South Africa. See also Antarctic and Southern Ocean Coalition, Antarctic Protected Areas, Arctic Council, Multilateral Treaty, References External links, Antarctic Treaty Secretariat, Full Text of the Antarctic Treaty Original facsimile of Antarctic Treaty, Australian Antarctic Territory, National Science Foundation The Euro Office of Polar Programs, List of all Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meetings, An Antarctic Solution for the Korea's San Diego Union Tribune, August 25, 2005, Emblem of the Antarctic Treaty